Hi, I'm Kent Garrett. Here's a question for you. How in hell did Donald Trump become president, especially when so many knew that he was not up to the job, is a pathological liar, is amoral, and is, as U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson allegedly said, a fucking moron? Part of the answer is that Americans are delusional and live in fantasy land. People who voted for Trump were deluding themselves, ignoring hard factual evidence indicating that Trump would be an awful president. Indeed, a new book has come out saying that and saying that Americans have been deluding themselves and living in fantasy land for the last 500 years. The book is called Fantasyland, How America Went Haywire, A 500-Year History, and is by Kurt Anderson. Anderson asserts that there is a history of Americans deluding themselves from the Puritans on up to today, and that has brought us to the Trump era of alternative facts and reality. Here's an excerpt from Anderson's book explaining how this happened over the last 500 years. Quote, mix epic individualism with extreme religion, mix show business with everything else, let all that steep and simmer for a few centuries, run it through the anything goes 1960s and the internet age, the result is the America we inhabit today, where reality and fantasy are weirdly and dangerously blurred and commingled. Anderson writes that where we are now is that Quote, being an American means we can believe any damn thing we want, that our beliefs are equal or superior to anyone else's, experts be damned. Once people commit to that approach, the world turns inside out, and no cause and effect connection is fixed. The credible becomes incredible, the incredible becomes credible, which brings us to a Donald Trump. And until the American people leave fantasy land and come to grips with reality, we can expect more and more and more Donald Trumps.